Hello folks and welcome back uh, tonight our little uh, short video is going to be about the head on this 230 cubic inch T245-A engine okay uh, anyhow I got the head cleaned and uh, before I show you what's going on with the head I'm going to read something to you straight out of the manual and uh, don't make fun of my glasses. It's the only thing I could find. All right, this is TM9-1840A, Ordnance Maintenance Engine and Clutch. Not very thick, all right? But it's got some good information in here that you need to know about. And uh, one of the things that we got to do now that we got the block, now I haven't taken the valves out yet uh, uh, or cleaned up the pistons or the top deck of this uh, block, but we are going to check that for flatness and uh it's really strange because the manual is pretty forgiving actually for the block it's talking about eight thousandths of an inch right so if you're if you can slide eight thousandths under your straight edge at any given point on here i think it's for every foot of of distance uh then you need to redeck the uh the block uh, however the head is at the four thousandths range so there's a difference there. And these are the gasket mating surfaces that we're talking about. But anyhow, I'm going to read for you right out of the manual. Um, this is on page 57 of this TM. Now, I got this from Portrayal Press. Uh, I love their manuals. They're, they're repops, but they're, they're excellent quality. Um, and the imagery is just perfect. So anyhow, inspect the gasket surface uh, of the cylinder block and head. Lay a straight edge across and lengthwise of the gasket surfaces of the cylinder block uh, with an 8,000th inch feeler gauge, check for the low spots in the surface around the combustion chambers. All right. Uh, if the feeler gauge can be passed between the straight edge and the top surface of the cylinder block, resurface the part until it's, until it's just flat. Uh, do not remove more than 10 thousandths of an inch uh, when you're doing this uh, procedure. So you need to know that uh, ahead of time right before you go to the machine shop. Uh, don't remove more than 10 thousandths of an inch. As metal removed from the gasket surface alters the compression ratio of the engine. Uh, also, you're going to lay a straight edge on the gasket surface of the cylinder head, which we're going to demonstrate right now, uh, with a feeler gauge and check for low spots. If variations exceed 4 thousandths of an inch per foot of length, resurface the head assembly but remove a minimum amount of material only. All right, and so anyhow, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm not making this stuff up, all right? And I trust the books. Okay, so I've got my feeler gauge. I've got four thousandths here. I've also got a three thousandths, and then it jumps to like 25 thousandths or some crazy number. But it'll be interesting to see what we come up with, okay? Got my OEM tools straight edge that we did a mail call on the other day. And we have one each cleaned head. All right, nice and clean. Let me reposition the camera. All right, we're going to start with four thousandths. All right, so this four thousandths is not going in. Yeah, we already went in that direction. Let's try this direction. All right. So you can see I'm not getting four thousandths under there. In fact, I can't see any daylight 
uh, between this straight edge and this head. That's very encouraging. So let's just for grins and giggles, use something a little bit thinner. Well, let's just go to let's go to the twenty five thousand. If you can see that reading. Now this is <laughs> this is twenty five thousandths of an inch. I'm pretty sure I'm reading a number correctly. And I cannot get it to slide under here. Now remember, this particular brand claims claims uh, plus or minus one thousandths of an inch uh, tolerance on this straight edge brand new. And so, I don't know folks, I think I'm good. I do not need to resurface this. I mean, I can't even get this freaking hair to slide underneath. All right? So that's encouraging. That's good stuff. I guess what I'm going to do now is now that I've confirmed it's flat, uh, we're going to go outside and give this thing a little bit of a paint job. <laughs> 